Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we've got something a little bit different than usual. We don't have a tutorial. This is a free tool that I'm releasing that I've been using for a while, and it's really handy. So before I get into how the tool works, I'll just say there's a link in the description down below in the video, uh, which will take you to this page here. You can download it from here, uh, and it's a very very simple little thing that it does, which is but is very effective and. Like I said, I've been using this myself for a while and I figured it was about time I put it out for other people to use. So let's talk about first what it does and what it solves. So a problem with Unity is when you're making tile maps, like for example, I've made a tile map here using uh, an image. So I've set up this image like this. Uh, I'll just open it up here. And it's a very simple little image of some colored squares. So if I want to draw with our tile map in Unity, we can draw away. You can see oh, what I've done here is I've just used this yellow tile here and I draw it in and in my tile map it looks perfect. We've got this lovely yellow area. But you can see in my game view here we've got these lines appearing between a few of the tiles. And that's obviously something you don't want. Now one way to solve this is to use a pixel perfect camera but that doesn't always solve the issue. You can still get this issue appearing sometimes uh, and personally I, I find this happens in my own games quite a bit where you get these weird little lines between tiles. Now what's happening is how Unity tries to display tiles is between these two different tiles here, generally speaking Unity will match them up. But sometimes you'll get to a situation where when Unity wants to draw a tile on screen, it doesn't know right at the edge here, it can be lined up so it's like 50-50. So it doesn't know hey, should the edge of this tile be this one here or should it be this one here? And then somewhere in the middle it goes, okay, well, say we should be on this tile. What's to the left of the very edge of it? Well, to the left of the very edge of this tile is blank space. If we look at the image again, you can see, oh, we've got blank space to the left of this yellow tile. So Unity goes, okay, just draw in that blank space there. So that's why we're ending up with these blue lines here because the color is blue on the background and we're ending with these blue lines. So if for example I was to fill this in with a white tile that I have here, so I'm using this white tile, if I fill this in like so, you can see I'm now ending up with these orange lines and that's because this orange guy here is right beside the white guy on our image. It's the same on our tile map here but more importantly on our image itself it's taking the orange edge on the left here and throwing it in randomly. Now just to show that this doesn't always show up, if I just play this here, I've just set up this very simple thing to, if I move this now, you can see, oh, it disappeared. But if I move enough, you'll sometimes get the orange lines randomly appearing. There you go, you see them, you saw them flicker there for a second. And that can be really bad when you're playing through the game. You can also see in my scene view now here, it's showing up the orange line, which again won't always appear. If I play again, I can zoom in and out of this. So if I zoom out, you'll see, the orange line kind of randomly appears at different zoom levels. It's not great. It's really annoying. So what this tool does is basically set it up so that we can get rid of those lines appearing at all. And it does that by just drawing an extra pixel around each tile. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to open up the tile set extruder file here. Of course it opens on my other screen so I'm going to drag it over here. There we go. And then once it's open all we have to do is first of all select the file we want to add padding to. So I'm going to open file selector and on the file here I'm going to open my colors.png and there we have it says one file selected. Then by default I have it set up to be 16 by 16 pixels which is a fairly standard kind of tile size in general. Um, and I've set that up on our image here as well. This is a 16 by 16 pixel uh, set of tiles here, but you can adjust that if you have a larger tile set or a smaller tile set You can change that here to whatever value you want uh, We have some options here. So create empty padding between tiles. We'll add an empty gap I'm not gonna do that for now. We'll do that in a minute just to see how that works uh, Output file with power of two dimensions. Uh, I'm gonna mark that as true just um, For handiness sake I'll, again, we'll we'll see what's going on with that when we export the file and then open output folder when finished We'll leave that marked as true so now all I do is hit the Create Extruded Files button, like so, and then it opens up the folder and you can see now we have a new image in here. So we have our original image and here we have a colors underscore padded. So it adds underscore padded to the name of the image file. And if I open that and then zoom in, you should notice if I have that here versus this one here, 
now there's one extra pixel of of outer color at the edge here so we've got here we've got one pixel of green and here we've got two pixels of green so very simple that's all it does it just copies the same pixel from within this area here and copies it to the outside by one place but that's really handy because now back in unity uh, we can see we now have this new image um, <clears throat> you'll also notice just if I jump back to it for one second you couldn't really see it there but in unity you can see it better we've now got an uh, empty space around the edge of our file and that's because we marked output file with power of two dimensions so power of two dimensions means if I highlight this now you can see this is now a 64 by 64 file so if we hadn't done that uh, just as an example I'll do this again without power of two if I create the extruded files it overwrites the one we already have and it would create it with a 54 by 54 which is kind of awkward for uh, programs to handle generally speaking you should try and have your files as a, a power of two dimensioned uh, object or sorry image so I'm just going to do that again and then back in here now we have 64 by 64 and now we can chop this up so I'm gonna set up the settings that I want to have for on my sprite so this will be the same as what I have on my other colors over here so I'm gonna set all this the same max size 64 apply that and now in the sprite editor which we have here we're going to need to select our sprites now for example with the colors here in my sprite editor all I had to do was tell it to chop it up in a 16 by 16 grid and that would automatically get all of our images uh, but one extra step we need to do with this one is so if we go into the sprite editor we can slice it up using a cell size and we can still use 16 by 16 but what we have to add in is to start off with it has an offset of one by one and what that means is it'll start instead of starting at the corner it'll start in one and down one and then we also tell it there's padding of two between each um between each image in this uh, sheet so now if i hit slice you'll see it starts in one and down one and we get this image and then over two pixels we have this guy and then over two pixels again we have this and then down two pixels we have this and so on until we get all of our images so i can hit apply here now and what's really handy about this is now i can drag this into my tile map or my tile set that i have here so i'm going to pop that in there like that and i'll just say put that in that folder so now these two images look the exact same in our tile set here that we've they look no different functionally but however if i select our white image now and fill that into our tile set boom our little edges are gone so now when unity tries to imagine what should be between those two different tiles what it does is it goes and looks at the original image uh, actually this is easier to see in our sprite editor so in here what it does is it goes to the very edge here and it goes okay where should i draw a pixel uh, okay i might go one to the left instead of going to the right which we want so then one to the left it goes okay well it's all white here so i'll just draw white in this point here and the same is true then for all of our little uh images here so if i go with this blue uh in our tile map well if it'll let me fill it in there we go you can see there's nothing here but if i did the blue from the original image we get the dark blue lines and again with the yellow on the original image we got the invisible gaps but with the new one uh, if i put it in the right place there we go it, it removes them so it's a very simple process but it's really really handy for using in unity as i say i've been using this for a long time uh, this is something i created last year for my own purposes and i figured it's something that would be very handy for everyone else so back in our tiles set extruder the only other thing we need to look at is create empty padding between tiles so i'm going to check mark that to be true and now if i extrude the same file again you'll see what we get is an image with empty space in between now this is purely an optional thing in case you want to do something different with your own sprite sheets it's just an extra little bonus this absolutely won't solve that problem of having gaps between tiles so if i go back into unity now you'll see oh those, those gaps immediately reappear down here uh, because we've got gaps in our tile sheet and what you'll actually find now is on all of these tiles they're going to have that same 
gap. No longer are they trying to get a pixel from the side, from uh, sorry, a color from beside them. They're all trying to get an empty space now. So we don't want that, obviously, which is why we make sure we keep that unchecked unless specifically you want to just add some empty space between um, your sprites for some strange reason. There you go. As I said, this is a free download. You can go ahead now, follow the link in the description. It'll take you to the itch page, which will uh, open up and you can download it straight from there. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more tutorial goodness and more exciting videos of fun. I'll see you all very soon.